Good afternoon guys and welcome back to the page. I hope you're all having a fantastic day as always. Today is a good day. Today is an exciting day because we have a couple of additions to the garage that uh, I think it's time you guys finally know about. The first one, I'm sure you guys probably already know. There's some things I've already posted about it, but without further ado, this is the first new addition to the garage. It is my new, well, new to me, 2019 Ram Rebel. Now, I know some of you diesel fanboys like me are probably going to say, what on earth? You didn't get a diesel? Well, let me explain myself. A couple of months ago, I happened to see a video online of the new Ram TRX that just came out this year. And I happened to just immediately fall in love with the truck. Uh, it is basically Ram's answer to the Ford Raptor. So it is a truck that, you know, sits up higher. It is wide bodied, but instead of a turbo V6 like the Raptor, they put the Hellcat motor in it. And that truck is just absolutely amazing inside and out and I just happen to fall in love with it. However, that truck is about a 90 to $100,000 truck depending on how you spec it out. And obviously that is way outside my price range. The body style of diesel trucks that I'm really interested in are out of my price range as well. And I don't really wanna sacrifice going any older because I don't wanna have any problems with the truck later on. So I decided to start looking at 1500s, but not any normal 1500s. I started looking at Ford Raptors. And the problem with the Ford Raptors is that the body style that I was looking at in the Ford Raptors that I liked still was about fifteen dollars to $20,000 outside my price range as well. So I started looking at the Ram Rebels. They were just inside my price range, so I started looking and I happened to find one uh, up in Michigan that had the nice infotainment system and the nice interior and uh, one of the uh, couple of color choices that I was looking at. So I called right away and uh, I was lucky that I got it because you know they had several other people looking at it. So I went ahead and bid on it right away because I didn't want it to go away. So it is my replacement to the Duramax that I had. No, it's not a 2500 diesel, but the more I drive this truck, the more I fall in love with it. And you all know that I can't leave anything stock. So, you know, I'm probably going to do a few things to it. I've already got some things planned. Wheels and tires being one of the first things, a uh, leveling kit and maybe some things under the hood and some paint matching. But for now, I'm just driving it like it is. I got it all cleaned up my way because we all know the dealership didn't do it justice. So with that said, let's take a look at the interior. Now, I would say probably about 50% of the Rebels come with this red interior. I happen to get one of the ones with that interior, but the best thing about it is this infotainment system. This thing just makes all of the newer trucks that are other brands just look like they're still in the Stone Age. This thing is amazing. It pretty much does anything you want it to do. You have USB and the new USB ports all over this truck, front and back. There are cup holders everywhere. I mean, it's perfect for the family. As you can see, we already have the car seat in here because we go all over the place already in this truck. So it is kind of nice to have a truck that I don't have to uh, worry about, you know, getting stranded somewhere anymore. It's not like I was getting stranded with a Duramax, but it was just getting older. And that was a little bit of concern with kids. So with that said, I think I have a little bit of an upgrade here. So yeah, kind of exciting for me. I haven't bought a truck in about 10 years, so it was finally time. So let's take a look under the hood here. And there is the big bad 5.7 Hemi. I got a few plans for under the hood here, obviously air intake. I even thought about maybe a Whipple supercharger kit and some log tube headers, but we'll see. Nothing permanent as of this point. It's just some ideas that I've got. I'm definitely going to be paint matching this front grill and maybe the front and back bumpers. I know I want to paint match the mirrors and these little side skirts on the fenders. I just don't like black plastic. I think it makes the vehicle look completely cheap. Anyway, there is my new to me truck. It is the 20. 19 Ram Rebel. The next addition to the garage is not quite here yet, but it is a replacement for this. This is the 2011 Tahoe that we've had forever. Uh, my wife has owned this vehicle since it was new in 2011, and it has gone literally everywhere with us. Anywhere we've been, it has gone with us, so it's got quite a few miles on it now. It still runs and drives just fine, but we know that it's the age is getting to the point where we know that if something does start to go wrong at some point, it's probably not going to be cheap to fix at this point. So we just 
decided to go ahead and replace that this year as well with a new 2021 Tahoe, the brand new body style. And it is an RST in a cherry red tint coat. It is at the dealership ready for pickup. We just haven't uh, had time to get over there to pick it up yet, but it is ready for us. So you will get to see that as soon as we get it here. Okay, and one last thing that I wanted to announce to you guys is that I had some shirts made up. I had a lot of people asking me, do you have shirts yet? And I just had to keep telling people, no, I don't have any shirts made up yet. But I finally bit the bullet and had about 20 shirts made up. So it is a very limited run, but I will go ahead and show you what the shirt looks like. Here is the front. Obviously you can see the logo on the front. On the sleeve, it has a flag with the shift pattern as the stars, and then it says drive clean. And then the back of the shirt is that same logo across the back. So that is the new brass tack shirt. If you want one of these shirts, like I said, it is a very limited run right now. If I sell out of these quick, I will have some more printed up. They are $25 a piece. And here's what I'll say about the shirt. Now, most shirts for businesses like mine that you will come across are going to be 100% cotton shirts like a Gildan brand or whatever. Those shirts tend to be a little bit more uncomfortable and just a little more stiff. We all know that I can't just halfway do anything. I want to make sure in the detailing world, my customers get the best. And I also want to make sure my customers get the best with the shirts that I had printed up. So what I did was I went with a little bit higher quality shirt. These are a 60, 40 polyester and cotton blend. So they are much, much softer than most of the shirts you're going to find. And they are a little bit thinner than 100% cotton. So they're not super hot in the summertime. They are amazingly comfortable. And I think you guys are going to be happy with them. So if you want one of these shirts, please message me and I will make sure that it gets to you. Don't forget they are $25 a piece. Just know that it might be a few weeks before I get it to you because I still don't have all of the shipping stuff that I need to get it to you. But as far as payment, if you message me, we'll figure that out. But I just wanted to do a very limited run for now just to see how well they sold. And if they sell out quick, I'll make another batch that's bigger and we'll roll from there. But for now, this is the back of the shirt design and you saw my logo on the front. So that is the new brass tack shirt. I think that's all I have for you guys today. The next video will probably be the new Tahoe. So you'll get to see that very soon. Until then, if you liked this video, please don't forget to go down below and like it. I will see you guys in the next upload.